everybody. Fat Burn Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. Awesome. And this is Friday. What are we doing here? Flipping and sipping. I know. <laughs> I feel like we haven't done this in years, but it's just been one week. I know. I missed it. Hey, Brenda Summerfield. I don't usually catch the lives, but Jocelyn and Andrew reminded everyone. Well, isn't that nice? Wasn't well, that sweet? We were getting ready for tonight, but I caught a little bit of their live. Mm -hmm. They were flipping and sipping themselves. I know. They were having a drink, weren't they? They were like at a winery in Cape May. That's awesome. Yeah. Fun. Great job on the live sale, Tiger. I didn't catch all of that either, but I caught some of it. Yes. I, I only, I flipped on the beginning, but then... Um, I was at work, so <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be on there. I just, I get home, like if I go home, I'm lucky enough to live close enough to go home. But by the time I fix my food and sit down at the computer and flip on a YouTube show of some sort, it's time to go again. Yeah. Makes me sad. I understand. <laughs> All right. Hey, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. And there's Tiger. Zeno. Hey, there's Zeno. What are you up to? <laughs> it's good to see you. Oh, there's Jamie and Vinny. Hi, Jamie. We missed you too. We missed everybody. We've got lots of friends here. I'm sporting my um, gear from Florida, Pineapple Willies. I didn't get any gear. See? It's cute. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yes, we are back. We got back. We actually probably could have done last week. I think we got home in time, like that much to do it, but we were exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I started to say there's I don't know. That would have been really the traffic something. the traffic was horrible coming home. So it wasn't too bad in the southern states, but when we hit Tennessee I don't know, we hit Nashville right at like getting off work time. Mm -hmm. And it was so crowded. And then we ran into a lot of road work. And yeah, so from t Tennessee and, and Kentucky, we're not good on our way home. So we were really tired. <laughs> so we didn't make it last week. I know. We stopped at Goodwill. It's in the middle of five o'clock traffic in Nashville. I know. Really it was kind, kind of, of a fail. Yeah. And it was terrible. Yeah. yeah. I've seen somebody that said that the Franklin Goodwill was good. I've seen somebody on YouTube. But there's another one. So yeah. I, think, I think it must have been the other one. We must one. have stopped at the wrong one. Yes. Indeed. Hi, Pickled Tink. Hello, Susan. Hi, Susan. Rachel Ruby is here. Mr. and Mrs. Berkeley Girl, a.k.a. the other Katie. Welcome. I think that's cute that she puts that on her name. I like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Karen Radford. Yes, so we had a good trip. It was a whirlwind of a trip. It was, I feel like we blinked a couple times and it was over. Me too. Yeah. We made a whirlwind trip to see uh, Katie. Yeah. Vintage and Vinyl, which you guys have seen her video about it. Yeah, and that was a whole other thing too. We've got one a video to come for that. We do. We didn't know if we were going to make it, and then we were. And that was a whole other story. Plans got changed and shifted <laughs> and rethought and yeah. redone, and it just didn't work. I mean, we had a good day eventually, but it didn't work out the way we had hoped. That's exactly right. <sighs> So, but we, we made it and it was a lot farther of a drive actually than I thought too. Lisa Day says uh, that Jocelyn encouraged everyone to tune in to us tonight. That's so nice. She's so good to us. She really is. I can't, I cannot wait someday to meet her. Oh, I know. Cause she's the one that I watched to get started mm -hmm. and I still watch hers every single day. Yeah. Just about. Maybe one day. Like if. Yeah, and I watch more than one a day, but I mean, I try, I, I pretty much get hers every day. She's the OG. She's the OG. She's the goat. <gasps> let's buy her, let's buy her like something that's like a goat. Oh, we should. Yeah, send it like, to her. like sequined or bedazzled or something. Did you know that <laughs> Simone Biles wore, wears like house shoes, slippers, and like sweats and stuff that says the OG on there. That's great. Isn't that hilarious? I love that. That's what we got to get that for Jocelyn and send it to her. Let's do. Okay. Okay. So if you're brand new here, first of all, we want to know, we want to know if you're brand new here because we love our new people and we're really excited that you're here. Um, 
behind us, we've got lots of stuff that we're selling today. We're not selling the vases if you're brand new, but all this stuff uh, piled up on the piano. We usually only sell five items Friday night, but we thought since we haven't, we didn't do this, we didn't sell anything in the last two weeks, did we? Um, no, I think we sold, we sold mystery box. Mm -mm. No. We didn't sell anything because it was the night before we left. It was. It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a short one because right. you, you tricked everybody. You said <laughs> you're leaving. We're leaving YouTube. Right. Yeah. But I, we, I pulled out some of our best stuff. I pulled out a real a lot of glass. So if you're into glass, I've got some good stuff back here. Okay. So we've got some new people. We've got some good content. Trisha here. is new. Hi, Trisha. welcome, Trisha. Sarah is new. Welcome, Patricia is an OG. You're an OG too. <laughs> oh, there's Jan. Look. Jan's new. Sean Blevins. Just left Jeffrey and Barb. So Thanks. did we. We just left them as well. Katie Garnett's here. Soul Nate. I'm brand new. You're lying to us. <laughs> Nate. Nate changed Welcome. his profile picture. That's a long time ago, Mary Beth. Vinny, even if I decided <laughs> to sell you one of my bittersweet vases, I would be terrified to ship it. I would be so scared. Yeah, because we can't ship like you, Vinny. Vinny, Vinny, like tackled tackled it and shipped us a mall baguette vase like nobody's business. Yeah, just got it right here, just perfect. Lickety split. Susan is new. Jeffrey sent us over. Oh, that's so nice. Hi, Susan. Jeffrey also is very good to us. We appreciate all of our new people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sort of, I'd be rusty. <laughs> I'm trying to. Skim for new people. I'm you? new. Nice to meet you. Jeffrey sent me. K Cox. Welcome. Sherry G. Newbie. Debbie's new. Oh, click Hi. on my mom. There's Hi, my, new Nate. <laughs> there's my mom. For all you guys that are new, that's my mom Joy in the Walden. chat. Yeah. I don't see Mary Beth's mom in the chat just yet. She might show up here in a little bit. Mm. So, mom, we got to go to that estate sale Sunday. Susan, new subscriber. Thank you so much. Hi, thanks, Susan. Oh no, I'm. I'm the it's shifted on me. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking. I'm looking. And while Mary Beth is welcoming everyone, we do um, the elegant comment. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. Very nice. Okay, so I'm sorry if I missed your I'm new comment. Welcome. We are really glad that you're here. Let me just give you a quick rundown of what flipping and sipping is. Yes. So we started flipping and sipping at the beginning of COVID because people were not able to go out and have drinks with their friends. So the point of flipping and sipping was for you to pour yourself a drink, whether it be water or Kool Aid or an alcoholic adult beverage or whatever, and sit down with all of your online friends here and have fun. We also sell a few items. We don't do like a, a full on live sale every Friday night. We do have some more items tonight than typical, but we do sell a few items. Then we like to show a haul, a quick haul. Tonight we have some stuff that uh, Laura's mom found for us. And then we play some games and just chat with each other. That's right. So that's what flipping and sipping is. So yeah, we both have full time jobs. So yeah. not that we wouldn't love to sell a whole bunch of stuff. We don't have time to ship it all. You, you guys True. are awesome. You guys would buy whatever we probably, as long as we would sell to you. But we do have an eBay store as well. Yes. So yeah. So welcome to everyone who's new. We're really thankful that you're here. And we're doing so much better. I mean, well, not yet. I'm, I'm trying to do so much better at the eBay store. I've Laura, listed a whole bunch of the ornaments. Yeah. Those ornaments that we showed whenever that was a few weeks ago, Laura's listed almost all of them on eBay. Good job. I know. And, uh, Jamie, you were right. Some of those Garfield ones are pretty, yeah, pretty. I mean, we have a lot bucks. of watchers on those already. Yeah. 20 bucks a piece. I mean, yeah. that adds up. I'm telling you. Good job. <laughs> um, so we're going to start selling here in about five or 10 minutes. So if you're here for that, we're going to get into that soon, but we're going to continue to say hi for just a few more minutes. I'm drinking a margarita and it is good. Nikki has outdone herself. Nice. I have stayed, usually stay away from a margarita, but this one's really good. The Snoopy ones have not sold yet. We've only sold one, I think, of the ones that Laura's listed. It was a little Garfield. It was the normal. <laughs> The little normal. He brought. He was broke, and he had a hole in him, and he brought like nine or ten dollars, and that's not very much less than what we paid for the whole box. Nice. So now we're into the profit. Yeah. So now we've got the Snoopies listed at ninety nine dollars a piece. Yeah. And uh, we've had some watchers on those as well. Yep. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Good job. Okay, so I feel like I was about to say something and then I lost Kitchy my train Kitchy Cornerhead margaritas tonight too. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was going to ask what everybody's drinking. I'm having Chardonnay. So even if you're having water, let us know. It's all valid here. I'm having, yeah, I'm about done with mine. This is really good. Let's see. Did you say that you're selling Garfield for $20? Was that for one? Yeah. So some of them are a little less, ex a little less than that, but some of them are around $20, right? Yeah. And I put free shipping. Yeah. So, yeah. So you have to figure, you know, three or $4 for shipping. Yeah. So. But I mean, there's a ton of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'll be thrilled to get that for them. Yeah. I think that'd be great. Some of them are really cute. It's like a series of, uh, what is it called? What's a, is it a Christmas story? No, what's this? What's the it's thing? Scrooge. Yeah, but what's the thing called? Dickens, a Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol. Thank you. That's what I was trying to think of. So don't like, put me on the spot like that. What if I didn't know? So Odie <laughs> is like in all the chains and stuff, and then Garfield's dressed up like Ebenezer. They're really cute. Yeah. Water. We're having some water. <laughs> Jamie's having a Dr Pepper. Soul is ha or Soul Nate's having the tears of my enemies. <laughs> Hey, there's oh, my mom. There she is. Welcome. We thought you had abandoned us. Lemonade. <laughs> that cool, refreshing drink. You get like, you get bonus points if you know where that came from. I have no idea. I hope my kids are watching because they're going to know. I've never heard you know, of you're that. Always th you're always throwing out movie quotes. That's my favorite one when somebody says lemonade. Yeah, I don't That's know that That's what I one. think of. Does anybody know? Katie's having rum and coke. That sounds good. Anybody? Dr. Pepper. I like diet Dr. Pepper. I don't like regular Dr. Pepper. You don't like regular Dr. Pepper? Mm -hmm. I do. Zima. Who's drinking Zima? It was... Oh, no, I lost it. <laughs> I don't know who it was. I clicked on it and then went away. It's either... Really expired or like a re-release? I guess they still make Zima. No, I think they might have re-released it recently. What is your movie quote? What is that from? Well, it's <laughs> it's Eddie Murphy. It's like Eddie Murphy's stand-up. I see. Yes. Yeah, favorite. I don't. I don't know about that. Hey, Charlotte. My favorite, the original. I don't. I, well, I don't know actually if it's raw or what's the name of the other one. I don't know. I love them both. Charlotte is joining us from across the pond. <laughs> if you're international, we, we like to know that as well. And uh, uh, Nate is joining us from uh, down under. <sighs> Nate, is it like, no, for Charlotte, it's like four in the morning. Nate, yeah. Nate it's probably full out morning, right? I don't it's know. Probably, probably so. Yeah. Lofty yeah. Treasures. Hi, I'm new. Hi, Lofty Yay. Treasures. Welcome. Welcome. I like that name, by the way. That's cool. I like it too. <laughs> Where do you find Zima? <laughs> right? I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, hi, Katie Garnett and Max. Oh, that's it. Charlotte says it's 314 there. Okay, let's have... Oh, goodness, Charlotte. Wow. Man, you're a trooper. Oh, so uh, Nate says that it's 215 Saturday here. <laughs> that's great. Oh, so I missed it. It's not even morning. Okay, let's see. What's prime time for you then, Nate? Why don't we see you more often, man? <laughs> Where you been all my life? Oh, and also welcome to everyone who might be here from Facebook. So welcome to you guys as well. I see a couple of you have liked, so I know you're out there. Okay, this is my new grandbaby. Everybody indulge me for just one second. Give Laura a second. If you're new, I'm sorry. I apologize. I have to show my beautiful grandson. We um, ah, FaceTimed yesterday. Ah! Oh, he's starting. Oh, somebody asked for it. Oh, good. Myra dug me out of a hole there. She asked. Thank you. He's starting to like look like he has a real personality Isn't now. Isn't that sweet? Oh, my gosh. He looks deep in thought there, Katie. <laughs> he's starting to really pay attention. You know, like they can't really focus or anything. And he was looking at me. He was looking at the phone. Oh. He was looking at Yaya. What a good boy. <laughs> That's awesome. Shall we get into the sale? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so. <laughs> Zeno said all babies look like junior accountants. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. 
indulge me. This is for Zeno. Just for you, Zeno. <sighs> Laura, they're going to start getting mad at okay, you. Okay, I, I know. We're going to do it. I've got one. I've got a great one. Though. Corey, somebody said that the last time. It looks like that we're split. It looks like we're in different rooms. That's funny. Oh, really? Well, yeah, look. Look at the screen. This, this, the wall. Oh, yes. That's great. We're not tricking you. <laughs> Say, look. We're here. really right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, look, look. Here's his junior accountant photo. <laughs> Oh my God! This made put onto it, his shirt. Put it a little bit closer. <laughs> That's just for you, Zeno. He has a little tie on his shirt. Oh my Isn't God! That great. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I know, right? He looks. He needs a little briefcase <laughs> and a little coffee mug. Oh yeah, we should have put a coffee mug right beside him there instead. <laughs> Jamie's like, stop! <laughs> oh, Carrie said it too. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the items. We've okay. got some, we've got some good stuff tonight. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, so if you have um, been to any other live sales, this is pretty much the same way that 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 you are used to. So every item is going to have a price, and every item is going to have an item number. If you are the first person to type the item number into the chat, then you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. If you feel like you might be buffering or you might be behind in the chat, right now is a good time for you to go out and then come back in, and that way you'll be um, all caught up. Make sure that you are in live chat instead of talk chat if you're joining us on YouTube. Please do remember that we do stream to Facebook and YouTube. What? I'm trying not to interrupt you. Well, you did anyway. Well, I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's okay, because we needed to stop anyway and say thank you to Corey. Oh, good. For Thanks, the super Corey. chat. We appreciate it, Corey. Zena wants to know when we're taking Flippin' and Sippin' to the cat-free deck so he can crash the party. Anytime. I think maybe we should plan that for the next one or something. Yeah, Zeno can't come over because he's like deathly allergic to cats, but I told them that we would look like put a Zeno cam out back and like make him a fire and he can sit out there by the fire pit yeah. or me and Zeno can go out there and you and George can be in here that's fine <laughs> that works for me oh that's so funny okay so back to what I was saying sorry it's okay I'll forgive I, you. I wish I didn't even make a sound how did you even know I was doing anything because I can see you okay <laughs> so we are streaming to Facebook and YouTube simultaneously. YouTube, you can't see Facebook's comments, and Facebook, you can't see YouTube's comments. So our chat comes in together here on my screen on my computer, so we have to go with how the the bids or the numbers come in on our end, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Will you stop laughing? This, I'm trying to be so professional, and you're just like, Throwing a wrench in it. It's the tequila. You're doing so good. Thanks. <laughs> okay. So just a reminder, if you are one of our winners tonight, we're going to need three pieces of information from you. We're going to need your YouTube name along with your real name. We need your mailing address and your PayPal email address. And you can send that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. So our email address there is in that blue bar, and it's also in the description of the video. If ever you want to send us your information just so that we can have it on hand, you can do that as well. But we do not require that you pre-register with us. So there's our information and what we need if you are a winner tonight. And I'll throw that back up at the end as well. That's right. Did I cover everything? I think you did. I just thought it would be a fine time to say that you can use that same information if you are watching a video and you see something you're interested in buying. You might shoot us an email to see if it's still available because that's usually the best way to buy something. Yes, and we do our shipping on Sunday evenings typically, so you can expect an invoice from us on Sundays. We usually, on Saturdays, we try to go and do our sourcing, mm -hmm. so we don't typically do uh, any work on Saturdays. So you can expect to hear from us on Sunday with your invoice. That's right. Is that it? <laughs> yes. Okay, so without further ado. You did that so well. I just want to let you know. Thanks. So professional. I, somebody, has to so carry, somebody has to carry this team across the finish line. Okay, let's get into the Fat Bird Five. <laughs> Except I guess it's more than five items tonight, but I'll put up our spotlights anyway. Instead of the Fat Bird Five, we'll call this tonight's spotlight item. How's that? <laughs> that sounds good. Does that make more sense? We're going to have to change the name here eventually, I think. 
Yeah. <laughs> from the fat. It's going to have to just say our proper sale or something. Maybe we'll have, if you guys have, uh, you can leave that in the comments. If you have a new name for our, the sale portion of our little show gig here. Yeah, because we haven't done five items in a long time. <laughs> in a while. I don't even know what to start with. We've got so much good stuff. Oh yeah, that everybody's everybody was uh, saying you can say what kind of a swung vase week you've had. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. It's okay. Let's just start. Let's just oh, let's just go into it. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So the first item up is we have this nice little footed. What do you think this is? A compote? A dish? I think so. I was struggling trying to name it on my list even because. You know, it's almost flat. It's not really a bowl, right? I, it's beautiful, though. I love it. Yeah. I like it. I I don't know. For some reason, I want to say that it's like a canapé plate. Yeah. Footed. Yeah. Or something. But I'm sure there's a different word for it. But right. I love it. It's so pretty. Tidbits. So this is dish. like depression pink, in case that's not coming through on the video. It's like the depression glass pink. This would be perfect to like put your earrings or your watch or your jewelry or whatever in at the on, um, on at the end of the day. Wouldn't it be great if you like your best, it was your best friend's birthday and you got the most extravagant cupcake you could find and set that right in the middle of this and the whole thing be the gift. That's cute. Wouldn't that be That's awesome? Great idea. Yeah. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So this doesn't have any damage at all. There are a couple of straw marks on the top of the glass and that is just simply from when this glass was made. It's this it's not it's just a maker's um flaw so to speak it's it's not anything wrong with the piece so really pretty awesome it's sixteen dollars mary beth sixteen dollars so sixteen dollars you just add like a four dollar cupcake and then you've got a twenty dollar gift you're right? all about that cupcake i know that's my that's my best idea lately <laughs> oh it's number 56 Number 56, plain, no designs. Yes, it's plain. So it's $14, number 56. I think he's... Okay. Okay. Did you have... Who do you have first? Susan. Me too. Okay. Okay, we have Susan. I'm going to mispronounce your last name, Susan, but we have Susan. Susan, I have heard how you're so, I've read how you're supposed to pronounce your name and I can't remember it. I have to. I have to, and I can't remember. So, hey, hey. Susan, I apologize. And Corey, thank you so much. Thanks, Corey. Which one of those two was it? The pink depression glass? Yeah. It was this right there. I okay. think. Okay. I don't remember. I think you said. Okay. Anyway, I don't know. Way. Yeah. Okay. Way. Susan Way. Just Way. Okay. Got it. I'll go back and watch it and look. Okay. Okay. Our next item up is a little children's book. So it's a Mother Goose illustrated children's book. And this is, you know, kind of a small book. You can see how thin it is. Isn't that sweet? We got that out of the big box of things that we uh, unboxed on camera from Layman's. Yeah. When I went with mom and helped her printed, get her all. Printed in Great Britain. I'm trying to find a year in here, and I don't see one. All color photographs. But look at this. So that says... Catherine Carey, is that what that says? Yes. From her great aunt's, great aunt Hall, maybe? It says aunt's, though. Great aunt's Hall. So I guess she had two aunts. Maybe. <laughs> Love it. We had, my grandmother had a uh, two sisters that lived across the street from her for years and years and years, like into their 90s, and they lived together. Isn't that sweet? That's very nice. So that's probably like something like that, somebody's aunts that rolled together yeah <laughs> so full color illustrations very sweet thin small book mother goose that one's fourteen dollars fourteen dollars beautiful i love that it's fourteen dollars and it's number forty seven fourteen dollars number forty seven forty seven 
Vinny says that has to be turn of the century. It, that it's old. I couldn't find a date in it, which is a shame, but yeah, it's really cool. And it's hard to find that many um that many pretty color photos. Oh yeah, I agree. Corey, we've got Corey. Thanks, Corey. Thanks so much, Corey. You got it. Could you um, clarify the price? Did I say something wrong? A few people have pointed out that you said two different prices. I don't know what I said. I think I Susan, said I think I said sixteen, and you said fourteen. So just let it be fourteen. Susan, I apologize. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Let's just make it. We're, we're going to make it 14. The cheaper one. Yeah. Yeah. I think I said it wrong, but yeah, we're going to make that be 14. I apologize. Totally fine. No big deal. Okay. Here we go. At least you said it was cheaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of more. Yeah. Um, we like to give deals around here. <laughs> okay. This is one of my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite items of the night. If this was orange, I would be keeping it myself. Awesome. I don't have anything green in my house or I would keep it. Also, I feel like a green ashtray is really hard to find. Also. Oh, yeah. And I love that. Look, you I hardly, me, I hardly ever see olive green with that emerald green. I know. Like, you don't usually mix those two together. Agreed. It's really cute. So, this is a ceramic ashtray. You know, you can do all kinds of things with ashtrays. I know that people put their paint brushes in them. You can use it for a candy dish. I have two ashtrays just out on my end tables as decoration. Orange ones, again, if this was orange, y'all would not have the opportunity, but. Jamie said it looks like an eagle head. It does when you hold it oh, up Oh yeah, like it does. Also, it looks, it's, it's Japan. It's marked Japan on the back, but you know, the glaze looks like treasure craft, that the bright green. Oh yeah. Part. It looks, kind of does, right? Looks like that treasure. And this crack. is in really good shape. Um, I don't see any chips or cracks. There are just a couple little like dimples kind of in the glaze that's just, you know, from when it was made. It's not a flaw. I mean, I guess you could call it a flaw, but it's not a chip is, I guess, what I'm trying to say. But yeah, I love this. There's a little bit of wax. It looks like there may have been a candle in here. I need to get that out before I ship it. Oh, that'd right. be cool, wouldn't it? That'd yeah. It'd be cool to put a candle in there. Yeah. So if you're seeing any anything right there, there's a little bit of wax in the bottom. So I'll get that off before we ship it. Okay. So it's uh, the Japan Ashtray, $18. $18. And it's number 53. $18, number 53. $18, number 53. <laughs> Retro Ruby, I am with you. I hate autocorrect. It gets me every time. Gets you every time. Drives me nuts. Okay. Corey. Corey, you're racking up. Thanks, Corey. You got it. Okay. This takes me back to that night when we were playing Pictionary and my word was cottage. <laughs> and everybody was really happy to point out that I had drawn a cabin <laughs> and not a cottage. I said, Mary Beth, that's not a cottage. Yeah. Everybody was really happy to tell me about that. And then it was so great because you were, I was like, I want, I was, I'm going to show you a cottage. And you were like, what? And I came out with this. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So this really just takes you back to that time in our life, right? <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. Okay. So this is a little cottage. It looks like a handmade piece. All of this down here is like painted. There's like a little water lily. Tiger says it's the lobster cottage. <laughs> this is the lobster cottage. I'm sorry if you're new and you have no idea what we're talking about. Don't worry about it. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> So, but it's a secret, too, because, oh, man, what's that cartoon where the giant, like, reaches down and lifts the roof off of the house? I feel like that was in a Disney movie. Maybe Jack and the Beanstalk? I don't know. But anyway. I don't remember that. There's, like, a secret hiding place in here, so you can put, like, some jewelry in there. 
and it's a music box. What's mm -hmm. funny? They're going off about how funny that lobster thing was. Jamie, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> So anyway, this is just a little handmade piece. It is a cottage with a little uh, whatever kind of roof that cottages have thatched. Thank you. It is a music box. It doesn't go very deep, but you can put your most special things. You can put your most special things in there. You can put a lobster figurine in there. <laughs> Maybe I'll try to find a lobster Wade Whimsy and put it in there. <laughs> I don't know if I have one of That'd those. That would be so cute. Okay, it's $18 for the cottage jewelry box. I'm kind of stuck on the same numbers tonight, aren't I? $18. $18, and it's number 50. $18, number 50. Number 50 for the cottage. <laughs> it's hot in here. Oh, Have you got your hair up already? I do. Yeah, I started with it up. <laughs> Okay, it looks like we have Melinda, Lavish Mango. Can I take a moment to just, Katie Vintage and Vinyl just said, oh, contraire, mon frere. It was so funny. So I'm going to put you up on the screen. Katie Vintage and Vinyl is a fellow YouTuber, and she is having an ice cream social while pay, playing Pictionary tomorrow night. Yay. In the place of Miss Pamela's sale. Miss Pamela is on the road on the, the, the one yard seven sale. yard sale. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So everybody go tomorrow night. We'll play Pictionary tomorrow night. Yeah. I want to. Any hard. I'm not new and I don't know what the heck you're talking about. Okay, it's lobster. it's okay. We were playing Pictionary. It was it was not as funny as everybody thinks it was. There might be a lobster picture on Instagram. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe on sure. Jamie's Instagram. <laughs> so thanks. Okay. Moving on. No, we gotta go cottage. back. I gotta go back and see who won that one. Oh, I told you. It was Melinda. I'm sorry. It was Lavish Mango. Okay. Got it. Okay. We're going to give Thanks, you guys, Melinda. if you're into uranium glass, we're going to give you an opportunity to get some inexpensive uranium glass. And I wish I had a big fat candle. A big fat? <laughs> yeah, like one of those big round wax candles. Is there one, one there? Wax candles? Oh, whatever. Don't you need a wax candle? Well, some of them are in glass jars. Oh, look. I didn't mean one that's in a glass jar. So, I have here, hold that. One, two, three, four, said, five, six. Lobster. I have six uranium glass plates. Now, let me tell you more about these. So these are very odd. I don't know where these came from, how they came to be, because they're very strange. So normally uranium glass plates are pressed, right? You can see the seams in them. You can see the designs in them. You can see how they were made, mm -hmm. okay? These don't have that. They're very rough looking around the edges. So that says to me that they were not pressed. Then somebody has gone in and put this blue design in here. So, and they're not all the same. They're all just a little bit different. My mom said it came from layman's shelf. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. It's okay. But, so they're all a little bit different. They are all uranium glass. They glow like nobody's business. I mean, they're, they glow beautifully. Yeah. But they're not perfect. One of them has a small chip in it. But what they would be great for is they all have this um, cut out here in the middle. I don't have a candle on me, but if you had a wax candle, they would be perfect to put your wax candles in. Yeah, they're so cute. I mean, they're... The paint job leaves a little bit to be desired. Right. <laughs> so, but they're so cool. That, that blue was just like placed on there later. I think that this was probably an artist just experimenting with uranium glass. Honestly, I asked George what he thought, and that's what he thinks. 
he thinks that an artist was just experimenting with uranium glass. Hopefully that artist is okay today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm just looking at them because somebody's asking about a pontal. I really don't see one. That on one, that one looks like it has one. Yeah, too. that one does look like it. Yeah, they're all different. You remember them from a haul video? Yes, we yeah. talked about them one night at length. They're all just a little bit different widths. They've been ground here. Again, they're cool. They glow better than some uranium glass that I've ever seen, and they would be great for candles. So that's what I'm gonna tell you. Catherine Young said, I remember those. And somebody said, we pull at Halloween. So I think Catherine Young is the person that um, I saw that was going to set their whole table and stuff for Halloween with uranium glass. Oh, that's which, fun. I think that's fun. Thank so you. we're going to give you an opportunity to get some inexpensive uranium glass if you'd like to start a collection or add to your collection. That's right. So you get the whole stack of plates. Yeah, definitely one of a kind, Lucinda. <laughs> the whole stack of plates. There's... Did I say six? Six of them, and one has, I, I think only one has a chip in the side. Okay. Let me see if I can find that real quick, actually. Okay. If you don't care to wait on me. No, that's okay. I can wait. They've got a little bit of weight to them. I mean, they'd the be so perfect to, to do candles. That one in. has, can you see that right there? It's kind of hard to yeah. see. Just yeah. Right there. Yeah. That little bee. Let me make sure the other ones don't. A little tiny flea bite. Oh, this one has this one has a couple of nicks too, actually. Now that I'm looking, they're not horrible. Just a couple little nicks out of the out of the edges. Okay. All right. Okay, so you get the whole stack of six for fourteen dollars. Six of them for fourteen dollars. Yeah, and they're not painted. They're, it's fused. That's fused glass in there. The blue is not painted. It's just that it's just, it's just wildly done. Yeah. <laughs> they just kind of, I don't know. Yeah. But they're cool. Mexican glass, like the big margarita. You didn't give an item number. I'm sorry. $14, number 44. $14, number 44. I got stuck looking at them again. I like them a lot. <laughs> $14, number 44. I need to start making, if I had remembered that we were going to do this many, I would have made little yeah. number tags. Sorry about that. Me too. Okay, we have Karen Fitzgerald. Karen Fitzgerald, you got it. Thanks, Karen. You got it. Okay, so we're going to do stuff a little bit differently, and we're going to do a mystery box in the middle. So we haven't gotten through everything yet. But we're going to do a mystery box in the middle right now. If you're new, um, a mystery box is kind of a super popular thing that we do on our channel. I think we sort of were the first ones to try it. In yeah. The still. One of the first, at least. Um, my favorite thing to do is to buy mystery boxes at auctions where I don't know what's in there. Like we bought a big tr steamer trunk and it had all bunch, all kinds of little bitty things in there. And so we decided to just see if you guys would like it if we sold a whole box full of stuff. Yeah. And so it's fun. It's popular. And so we play a game with it, right? That's right. So how much is our mystery box today? Tonight, we're going to show you one item out of it. So we're going to go ahead and ask 20 instead of the normal fit, the normal price. Okay. So, so $20. This mystery box is going to be $20. So $20. And I'm going to tell you guys real quick how we do the mystery boxes. It's a little bit different than the regular sale items. So because our mystery boxes are so popular, we like to try to give everybody the opportunity to win. So here in a moment, we're gonna give you the item number. Again, it's $20, but we're gonna give you the item number here in just a moment. We'll ask that you, if you're interested in buying it, we ask that you type uh, the, the item number into the chat only once, and then we'll count the total number of people interested and spin a random number. Mm -hmm. to see who gets to win, so That's who right. gets to buy it. That's right. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So if 20 people are interested, we'll spin a random number between 1 and 20, take the winner. Again, you guys have to trust us that we, we take the winner as we see it on our end because we're streaming to Facebook as well, so you have to 
Trust us. We're doing our best. Yeah, we're very careful. Okay, so we're going to show you guys one item that's in the mystery box this week. And this is, I believe, a cigarette case. And it's made out of wood. If you saw our... (laughs) This is funny, Jamie. Our mystery box unboxing video several weeks ago, I had left one item in the box that I didn't see. It was like up against the side of the box. Right, because you were like over the top of it. We were over the top taking items out and we didn't even see that there was one in there. Yeah, so this was left in there so you guys didn't get to see it. So we're going to put this in the mystery box. Jamie at Mid-Century Wasted messaged and said, oh my God, I've got to know what that last item is at the bottom of the box. And yes, Carrie will heckle you if you type in the (laughs) item number more than one time. Okay, so there is a little bit of damage on the top. Right there, some of the inlaid wood has has come out. But this, to me, looks like a wooden cigarette uh, case box. I think that's really cute. The hinges are made out of wood. <laughs> it's actually beautiful. Yeah. But, I mean, that, ho- that whole, that, that little piece of inlay is missing. Yes, it is. Let me see if I can show that again. So there's the top with the inlay, and there is a chunk out of it right there. But, I mean, it's it's beautiful just to enjoy for yourself. Yeah. So this will be in the mystery box along with how much other stuff we can put in here to fill it up. Yes, if you're interested in the mystery box idea, um, people will a lot of times will uh, film themselves, not film, Video. We'll, we'll video themselves opening the box and they love it. And we always link that in our channel. So we have a playlist. So it gives you some idea. But just to give you some idea, I mean, like there'll be some linens, you know, some paper ephemera, uh, maybe a Wade Whimsy sometimes, you know, it was like smaller little yeah. mystery items. Small things usually go in here. So now, again, this is $20. Yep. If you're interested in purchasing, The $20 mystery box. Please type only once into the chat. Number 41. Number 41. 41. And then Carrie's going to type stop when we tell her to. When we ask her to. (laughs) Oh, come on. Can't we just tell her? Can't we just boss her around a little bit? (laughs) Yep. Just go ahead and put in the number 41 if you're interested. All right, so Kira, we've got a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and ask you, if you would, (laughs) to type in stop at five. Are you suggesting that I've left my manners at home? Three, two, one, and stop, please. (laughs) If she's even there, maybe she left. (laughs) I don't think she's there. No, she did it. Okay, so you guys go refresh your drinks. We're going to start counting to see how many people were interested. So you guys just give us a minute. Talk amongst yourselves. (laughs) Do you want me to help you count or do you want me to talk? I'll do this part. Talk to them. You go ahead. Okay. Now I can talk to everybody, but now that I'm free to talk, I can't see the comments because she's counting. (laughs) So let's see. What can we talk about? We are going to have some content. Oh, we're not done. I'm used to doing this at the end. We've got more sale left. Let's see. Let's, let me tell you what else we've got to sell. Um, we've got a really pretty deer figurine made in Japan. You guys are going to like that. Um, if you guys watched the video this week from the yard sale, we've got the 49. owl pendant that we're going to sell. 49. 49. Yeah. So we're going to spin a number between 1 and 49. 49 was how many people are interested now. I did see some Facebook people in there, so you guys have to take our word for it. We have to take the num- how the, the order comes on our end. Okay. Ready? Ready. Did you do it? I did Did you it. restart? I did. Okay. Here we go. Laura's going to spin to win. Laura, spin to win. Oh, 34. That's my favorite number. Hey, lucky 34. Okay. So, Laura, I'm going to ask you to count with me. Okay. If you don't care. Ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That's what I got. That's what you've got. We have Black Dog Vintage and Antique. Very nice. Black Dog, thank you so much. You have won the opportunity to purchase the $20 mystery box. I think you're going to love it. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody who was interested. Black Dog Vintage and Antiques, why don't you go ahead real quick and put in the chat, do you have a YouTube channel or an eBay store? I can tell that you're a reseller by your name. So just give yourself a plug real quick and we'll put it back up on the screen. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Where was the best place that we ate in Panama City? Uh, eating was so what? difficult. Oh, did you say the Saltwater Grill? I did. Yeah, Saltwater Grill was really good. That's that's my vote. That's what I'm going to say. It's hot in here. Your mom's going to say the shrimp basket. Yeah. <laughs> Black Dog says both. What is that? What did you ask? If she had a YouTube. If, oh. I don't know if it's a she or a he, but if they have a YouTube channel or an eBay store. Okay. So write that. Yeah. Write that down. We need to check that out. All right. Thanks, Black Dog. You got it. Where do you live? Western Kentucky. We're in Paducah. Quilt City, USA. The very, not the very tip, but I mean the really far in the, in the Western well, it is really in the tip. I mean, it's not the, the west most place, but Laura, almost. we still have lots of stuff. I know, we do. Gotta get at it. I know. Okay. It's 9.47. We have a set of deer. A little set of cute deer. Oh, look, it's a baby. They're so cute. We got those on the um, 400 mile yard sale. Yes, on the 400 mile yard sale also. There's the back of them. Here. You guys, I'm so excited. You know, we talked about our... Uh, Videos kind of watch watch hours kind of plateauing, but this this week they've been good. Yeah, we've had a good week of videos today yeah, or this week because we're back to being a little more consistent, probably. Okay, so we have a set of deer. So okay, Laura, what do we and have? I think twenty four dollars. I'm going to try to speed up a little, I guess. Here, okay, I'm probably slowing down the whole process. Twenty four dollars. Um, they are. They do say made in Japan on the bottom. No Aren't chips they or cracks. Cute? So cute. So $24 for the deer, and it's number 42. Number 42. Dan Campbell says, I have those. Oh, yeah. $24, number 42. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. I have Angie Gordon. Yes. Angie Gordon. Thanks, Thank Angie. You. you got it. You got it. Awesome. Okay, next I have a set of three, like, emerald green bowls. These are vintage. I think they're anchor hawking. Anchor I think so. hawking? I think so. I think that's right. They don't, they're not marked, but I, I think that they're anchor hawking. So these would be perfect for popcorn. <laughs> I think popcorn would be cute I in know. this. Perfect size. Cereal. This would be a really nice big cereal bowl. <laughs> like on Saturday mornings when you're watching your cartoons, this would be a great big cereal Unless bowl. you use a mixing bowl like Mary Beth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you were little. <laughs> okay, so I have three of them. Again, emerald green. Oh, look, I can see you right through there. There I am. <laughs> Very pretty. So, just $9. There was the ice maker. Sorry. Done. Judging by that green color, thanks, Ice Maker. I would definitely say Anchor Hawking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, ice cream. Yes. Ice cream would be good too. And, Book, I saw your comment. Yes, after our show, we will send people to that, to the other sale. And um, I didn't realize that that was happening until recently. So I will do that each time now. You said $9? $9. $3 a piece. Yeah. For That's all a deal. I know. That's a great deal. $9. It's number 49. $9, number 49. Katie, Vintage and Vinyl says yes. Anchor Hawking Charm. Katie, you're so good. Katie knows everything. Yeah, that's a good deal. And it looks like we have Betty. Betty, you thanks, did it. Thanks, Betty. 
I'm not going to try your last name because I won't be very good at it. But thank you. Thank you so much. We've got it. I have another piece of green glass. This is a divided dish. It's funny. From a distance, it almost looks like an egg plate because of the design. Oh, but yeah. But it's not. It does. So this is a, a divided dish into three. This is not uranium glass. It does not glow. So divided dish. This would look really pretty like at Christmas time if you had peppermints and butterscotch and something else. Wouldn't that be great? That would be really pretty. Somebody said Katie knows her green glass. So Katie, Yes, can, she does. Katie says it's Indiana glass. I, I would agree with that. <laughs> so yeah, you could put like cheese and nuts and mints or candy. Whatever you want. Fudge. Mm -hmm. Good idea, Maria. Yes, because you can't have one kind of fudge at Christmas because you've got your peanut butter fudge camp and your chocolate fudge camp. Yes. So Katie's right. This is Indiana glass. Pretty sure. Okay. I'm, I'm finding it. Okay. It's, this is just a really nice uh, serving plate for your parties. Yep. So it's $12. $12. And it's number 55. $12 number 55. 55. No chips or cracks. Divinity. Oh, yeah. That's my mom's favorite. Divinity. <laughs> what a cute name. What? I think that, that won it. <laughs> Cozy Llama. That's a great name. Thanks, Cozy Llama. You got it. All yours. Coming your way. Love it. We have a tin. Oh, what is this? What? Carrie. I don't know that word. What is that? I don't know that word, Carrie. Is that what you meant? Caramel fudge. Mm. Pumpkin fudge. Eggnog fudge. What the heck? I've never heard of pumpkin fudge. Or whatever word that is. <laughs> Can you click on that? That's great. My sister-in-law calls fudge with nuts. The male fudge. <laughs> that's you really, know, that's great. That's really great. It's a brown sugar fudge. Awesome. Mom. My mom makes fudge. Mom, can you make brown sugar fudge? When you brought this out here, I didn't realize it was the DAR. D-A-H-E-R. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that neat? When we did the sale with... Um, Pirate Chicks, they pronounced this in a way I'd never heard it pronounced. And I'm sure they had it right. Yeah, but I can't remember what it I was. I can't either. It was different than what we say. Yeah. Did they? I don't know. I'm not going to guess. I don't remember. So there's the bottom of the tin. It's a really pretty round one. It almost looks ceramic from, an, from a distance. Here's the top. With those really pretty flower designs. I'm trying to find it on here. <laughs> on my list that I did ahead of time. Like I was supposed to. Love this. I know. I think that was really pretty. There's the inside. So it has been used. I know it's $12. I'm just trying to find it on my list. It's not perfect. De hair. Maybe. Did somebody say that? De her. I don't remember. Her? De her. I don't. Maybe it was day her. That sounds familiar. Maybe that's what they said. I'm sure everything is correct other than what I say, which is dar. <laughs> dar. dar. It's like a pirate. Dar. Dar. Could okay. you please? What? Find. Oh, I found it. <laughs> okay. It's $12. Okay. So here's the And those little... are cherry blossoms on there. Yeah. 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 $12. Number 57. $12. Number 57. Yeah, Charlotte could tell us how to pronounce it, right? <laughs> $12, number 57. I say it like UMB. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Nettie. What do you think? Let's see. I think you're right. Nettie. Nettie, let me just tell you. I um, got busy and did not get your item that you wanted in the mail from the video. 
Oh, yeah, you got the recipe box and the little uh, pumpkin charm necklace. So now I can ship it all together if that's okay with you. So I will just bill you, invoice you, and ship all together. Awesome. I'll save you some shipping. Good job. Yay. Thanks, Nettie. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks, Nettie. Formed by the caramelization of brown sugar, thus its flavor is said to be reminiscent of caramel. Well, there you go. Did you just, like, Google that and type exactly what it said, Carrie? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Speaking of Carrie, we have an owl. Carrie loves owls. Oh, yeah. This is an owl pendant. We got that on the yard sale. Yes. On the yard, on the yard sale. At the yard sale. On the 400-mile trek. Yeah. So this is quite, quite big. I mean, if you were wearing it for a necklace, you could probably pin a pin on the back of it somehow and make it be a brooch. Yeah, but it's, I love it as, the necklace because that's just like the typical way you know they wore it with those big tunics those 70s you know fringy kind of tunic shirts so he says is it silver no no it isn't so there's the back of it looks like somebody might have tried to make it a pin <laughs> once karen said should we turn around <laughs> that's <what> the video <laughs> let's turn around come on let's turn around mary beth turn around Gosh, we said that a million times. We did. <laughs> okay, so there's the little owl pendant. Again, not silver, just, you know, costume jewelry. All right, so $12, right? Because it's nothing, it, it's not fancy. It's super cute, though. But it's just $12, and it's number 45. $12, number 45. $12, number 45. We're doing good. Is the, is the pace pretty good now? The pace is great. Pick, we picked up the pace a little. I'm loving it. Yeah, we were like kind of taking it slow there. I know. I like to talk to everybody. It's my fault. <laughs> Nancy Kell. My fault. Nancy Kell. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Nancy. You got it. Thank you so much. Is it a Jelly Belly? Definitely 70s. I don't know because I know what you mean when you say Jelly Belly, but I don't know if it's what, I don't know how to tell what one is. Yeah, I don't know. I know that they have stones in the belly. Caramel. That's all I know. <laughs> caramel. How do you say it? Caramel. Do you? Yeah. Most what people, do you say? Most people around here say caramel, no, but I, I say caramel. What do you say? Caramel. Oh, we're a house united. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's rare around yeah, here. Yeah, not that common. <laughs> okay we picked this up where did we pick this up at george's yeah this came from george's zena zena will remember this this came from george's um a, a state sale we don't typically pick up milk glass but i thought this was so pretty yes yeah, so and when you picked it up zeno talked you right into it he really did <laughs> he was like they just sold that on somebody's channel for her. Quite a bit. <coughs> this is one of my favorite pieces of milk glass I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really, really, really cute. But yeah. And I mean, it's a bargain because, you know, milk glass doesn't sell for all that much. So this is, it's $12. So, I mean, anybody can use that anywhere for $12. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? I don't see any damage on this piece. I predict milk glass is going to make a major comeback. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Just because, I mean, that's what makes things come back because when they are so cheap, you know. Leandra at the Vintage Carriage House, she loves milk glass. You know what? That reminds me. She They changed their name, and I think they're back on YouTube, and now I don't know what their name is. If anybody knows their name, if you could put that in the chat, I would appreciate it. They did it. change their name, and I don't know. Because I thought she just disappeared, and they changed their name. They did disappear for a short time, and then they came back, but their name was different. Yeah. I found her on Instagram when she came back, but anyway. Tom and Leandra, formerly of the Vintage Carriage House. Becky's helping us out. Vintage Viking Treasure. She knows a lot about glass. She's saying that she's guessing that's Westmoreland. Okay. So you're going to get a bargain. It's $12. So $12. $12. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is a bargain. Well, I told you to look at the prices. $12 and it's number 54. $12, <laughs> number 54. 
Number 54. You're so disapproving of that price. $12. Wow. Number 54. That's just a good price because this is wow. so pretty. Uh -oh. $12. Now she's mad at me. I'm not mad. Are you serious? No. Are you serious, Clark? <laughs> Clark? Don't throw me down, Clark. Oh, yeah. That was too cheap. Who do you have? Uh, you sure? That's number 54? Number 54? Yeah. I have Kitchy Corner. Let me look on my phone. We have conflicting winners. Hold on. Wait for it. Entertain everybody, Laura. Wait for it. I like I need it. Just throw it over to me. Like I just needed a tiebreaker. <laughs> Kitchy Corner. Okay. All right. See, it does look different on different things. It sometimes. does. We do our best. We Yay. do our best. Good job, Kitchy Corner. Thanks, Kitchy Corner. You got it. We appreciate it. Has anybody said what their name is? Oh, I don't know. I, didn't. I haven't seen it. I'll find it. Okay. Now what? Oh, Billy Bunny. I love this. Let me see if I can find a year in here. Billy Bunny. Yeah, they're talking about, uh, somebody said that you should auction it, and they're saying that we don't do auctions. We just have, at this point, have chosen not to do the auctions just yet. Correct. We're just not too sure about it, and um, it's just, we've dabbled with it. It's just not really our jam. We, we yeah. So, we might figure it out later on in life. <laughs> <laughs> One day, when Laura quits her job. <laughs> okay, so this says copyright 1921. Billy Bunny and Timmy Chipmunk. Oh, you love that book. Look how cute the cover is. That was is. in the mystery box as well. Now, you got some damage there on the cover. Yeah. If that was 1921, what does that mean, Laura? Laura, what does that mean? Well, it means that it's not copyrighted anymore. No, 1921. What does that mean? I don't know. Mathematically to you. Uh, oh, 100 years? It's 100 years old. If that's to be believed. Oh, that's what I meant by the copyright thing. Yeah. So if that's to believe, this is a hundred year old book. So some damage is to be expected. There is some pencil marks. There, excuse me. There are some pencil marks in the book. So this obviously belonged to a child. Not a ton. There's a note. <laughs> uh -oh. No, it's I just, it's just blank there. paper. I think it was a bookmark. <laughs> just blank paper. There are some pencil marks in here. There's not any really any illustrations. Oh, oh, there oh, are. Yeah, they're just every once in a while. Every once in a while, you'll get a color illustration. Oh, that one's really cute. Look, he has on a top hat. So cute. Ugh. And I just think that's a really cute one for for display. Yeah. Only. Oh, here's something else. Those are a little bit faded in there. Did they put looks stickers? Like, it looks like those were like transfers. <laughs> Did they just play around in there and put maybe, transfers on the back of it? Maybe. That? I think that those had been transferred in there, actually. Mm -hmm. So anyway, very cute little book. A little bit of damage. Uh, here's the back cover. A little bit of a stain there. The spine, however, looks pretty good. Okay. But we um, are taking that damage into consideration. 100 years old. Right? That means it's an antique. It's so it's just eight dollars. So eight dollars. <laughs> it's super cute, but it does have a little chunk out of the corner, so it's just eight dollars. But it still would be cute in your displays, right? Yeah, eight dollars. So, number fifty-two. Number fifty-two. Eight dollars. Number fifty-two. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Yep, we just got a few left here. Four items left. Everybody's hanging in there, most for the most part. It was number 52, correct? Mm -hmm. Who do you have? Nettie. We have Nettie. Thanks, Nettie. Nettie, more combining of your shipping. When did you refill my drink? While you were selling that thing. Thanks. You're welcome. It's what I do. A couple more left, but this is a couple more good things. Now, Katie also told us, Katie at Vintage of Vinyl, 
told us this pattern as well. <laughs> so Katie, I hate to put you on the spot, but if you remember what that pattern was, you might just put that into the chat. I think it's optic. This is awesome. This is beautiful. This has some weight to it. It's not exactly like depression glass pink. Not really, but it's not amber either. It's kind of like a champagne-y uh, color. I think that's what somebody told us that it was pink champagne or something. Susan Way says Jeanette. That mm. might be correct. Yes. Jeanette Optic. But my gosh. Mm. What? Jeanette Cubist. Jeanette Cubist. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Thanks Katie. I knew she'd come through. <laughs> so this, I just love that. It's like MC Escher or something. <laughs> Um, it has like the sawtooth on the top. It is a divided dish. This has some weight to it. Um, it's just a really nice, heavy piece. Yep, really pretty. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things that we've ever found. We found this on 400 Mile Yard Cell Day, didn't we? Yes, we did. We did. Is this good for you? That's great. So, in the chat said, y'all should confer about the prizes before you do this. I trust Laura. <laughs> Laura's in charge. We're, we're messing with each other. I like to make you guys think that I'm in charge, but really, I, I'm not at all. That's why I'm laughing all the time. It's so funny. <laughs> okay, so it's $16. $16. $16. <laughs> $16. Number 48. $16. Number $48. $16, number 48. Very nice. Becky says there's several people that made that. Who do you have? Deanne Campbell. Deanne Campbell is the winner. Deanne Campbell, thank you so much. Thanks, Deanne. Okay, what? We've got a couple pieces left. Three pieces left. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Yep. I don't know what to ask for that last piece. We'll just make it up as we go. <laughs> okay. I have here a mismatched, mismatched set of uranium salt and pepper. So we found these separately and we're going to put them together because why not? Why not? Why not, Laura? They're so cute. Okay. So here's the tall one. Hide your face. Okay. I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> there it goes. There's the tall one. Here's the short one. So the short one is fat on the bottom and the tall one is on a, a pedestal. There you go. They glow really well, I think. You, yeah. you want to hold that up? in front of my black shirt. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's good for something. That's right. <laughs> okay, green. That one is Corey, Ballerina Cameo Hawking. Katie. This one probably. You are just a wealth this fancy one. of knowledge. Love it. They're both green, yes. Yeah, both green. They I look think, cute together. Yeah. I think they do look cute together. I think they complement each other. Come and do it one more time in front of my shirt, just because I'm impressed that I thought of that. Um, the top of this uh, metal has been just a little bit dented here and there, but I mean, that's to be expected. I'm not doing it good though. I can't do it myself. <laughs> just, just trust us. Yeah, that's not too good. That's okay. Okay. They believe us. Okay. Okay. So the mismatched uranium salt and pepper. I don't see any chips or cracks on the glass. The tops, you know, have a little bit of wear. Tiger Lily. Hi, them. Tiger Lily. Thanks, Corey. Okay. Corey's showing us lots of love. Thank you so much. It's so sweet. I, I had them and I lost them. $16 for those two. $16 for the pair. And it's number 51. $16, number 51. Green Cameo is my pattern that I collect, says Becky from cool. Vintage Viking Treasures. $16, number 51. Mm hmm. Woo! Home <laughs> stretch. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I think, who do you have? Roiling, 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 <laughs> roiling. You got it. Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay. This is also one of my favorite things. I love this one. I love it too. I don't what? know what we should ask for that. <laughs> I know. It's so pretty. Will you hold up your white piece of paper? Yes. Okay, so here we have this lovely purple jar, which you guys probably know that purple is not easy to find. I'm going to take the top off so that I don't drop it. So, let me Maybe come Maybe somebody can help us closer. out with this, too, because I think this is Thousand Eye. Thousand Eye, you think? But I, I, I'm just not sure. But see, like, if you turn it and turn it, see how many reflections that you get in there? That's where that name comes from, all those different It looks like a dragon bubbles. egg. Bubbles. Right? It kind of looks like you a, see a little condensation because I wanted it to be pretty. And yeah, I Laura washed, washed it, it. And I probably shouldn't have done that because it didn't get completely dry on the inside yet. So there's the jar. You can put that down. Okay. So in front of my shirt, you're not getting it in the light. If you put it up to the light, it's just beautiful. We don't know the maker. I don't. Don't know the maker. I don't have any idea. Now here's the top. Now, originally, this would have had some sort of cork or plastic coating around it so that it would have fit snugly in there. It has since been removed. So, I mean, it, it obviously fits. It fits, but, I mean, the second you turn it, you would want to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Or you would want to put um, some sort of tape or something on here so that it would fit more snugly. Becky is saying dot optic. Dot optic. It makes me feel like the mother of dragons. <laughs> anyway. What did, I was, I was going to bust out a quote there, but I. This is just one of my favorite things that we've found in a long time. So pretty. Honestly. A thousand eyes. It's just so unique. It's so unique. And if you put this in a windowsill, oh my gosh. It would be so pretty. Yep. I love it. Okay, what do you got? I'm going you with still thinking about it. Yeah, I'm going with thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's I think do that's it. a good price. I think I that's agree. probably a little less than what it's worth. I, I'm I'm here for it. Okay, no chips or cracks that I see. Okay, it's thirty dollars and it's number forty three. Thirty dollars, number forty three. Oh, rubber band. That's probably Love a good it. idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. Everybody's got good ideas. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. <laughs> okay, who do you have? Susan Way. That's who I have too. Susan Way. Susan, we're going to get to combine some shipping for you too. Yay. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Susan. You got it. Tiger, just sell it to me already. <laughs> talking about it <laughs> thanks Susan we can I think that we're down to the bonus elephant it's the last item you want to spin to win for it do you yeah okay do you guys I, I don't know you guys want to play you tell me okay it's your show I'm just here <laughs> All right, look, look at the at bonus him. elephant. He's so cute. He's very cute. Sorry, I'm doing a horrible job. He's got a little red fake ruby for his eye. Mm -hmm. He's got a little green fake emerald on him there. Mm -hmm. It's totally costume. All of it's totally costume. Yeah, I haven't seen any mark on the back. Just some costume jewelry. They're saying spin, so let's spin to win on him. Okay, so you guys know how this works. We're going to give you the price, which is $16. The price is $16. But look how cute he is. He's got his little gold feet and a little gold tip on his trunk. I just think that one's a really pretty enamel pin. Yeah, he's really cute. And he has a little blue. Did you say blue? I've, no, I didn't say the blue one. I was he's got a the red blue. one, the green one, and then there's the blue one on the saddle. Yeah. Okay, that's adorable. So we're going to spin to win. This is $16. Um, here in just a second, we'll give you the item number. If you're interested in purchasing for $16, <laughs> we'll, 
will ask that you type the item number into the chat only once, and the item number is 46. $16, number 46. Number 46. Awesome. And Carrie will be our magnificent assistant. She's good at it. One, one more time. Carrie's awesome. This is it. This is the end. Yeah. Okay, Carrie. So let's do a stop in five, four, three, two, one. Water baby, Maharaja elephant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He does. He's so pretty. Your mom. Your mom bid. <laughs> mom. I love it. Okay, so Carrie's put That's in stock. That's really funny. If she wins. <laughs> okay. Mom, do you like the elephant? Are you, are, you, are you being sentimental? Or I'm just really interested. That's really cute. I think I have 19. Okay. Okay. All right. So you got to spin the wheel. Oh, yes. She's Sorry, not even I'm ready. Like, I'm all into it. Laura's over there like, what, you want to spin? And I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. And then she's not ready. <laughs> okay. 19, please. Yes, I got it. This one will be easier to see, won't it? Mm -hmm. Your mom wants to win it for Corey. Oh. <laughs> I figured she's she put hers in for somebody else. Okay, here we go. You ready? 19 people. Lucky seven. Oh, lucky number seven. All right, you ready to count I'm, with I'm me? I'm ready. It was 46, right? Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that what you have? Uh, you yeah, want to count one more time? Yeah, let's do it again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. All okay, right. that's what I got. It's our pal Karen Radford. Karen Radford. Good job, Karen Radford. Thanks, Karen. You got it. All right, that concludes our, our sale portion of the evening. So thanks, everybody. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks yeah, so much. Nancy, you didn't bet. I know. I saw you. It's 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 okay. We didn't count you. <laughs> Woo! hot in here. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who participated in the sale. Oh, Vinny's so sweet. Vinny is sweet. Vinny was going to buy that for my mom if she got it. Well, that's adorable. Isn't that nice? You have like the best viewers. I know. Vinny's just the sweetest. So all of you guys who leave after the sale is over, make sure you give us a like if you enjoyed what you saw. We appreciate that. You can come back later after the video posts and leave us a comment if you want. Yes, we get into the, you know, funny crazy part here in a few minutes and then we name the show afterwards like uh a friends episode the one where whatever happens <laughs> karen says please send the elephant to Corey and bill me oh karen wasn't that sweet karen isn't that nice we'll just put that little elephant right in Corey's package we will do that karen that's so sweet thanks karen Corey, look. Look how much love you got there on that. Karen's awesome. <laughs> Mom, yay, Karen. Karen's Everybody's awesome. so happy about that. <laughs> Karen's fantastic. All right. Fun sale. Fun sale. I know that was a little bit longer than we typically do. That hopefully, was fun. Hopefully that's okay. We feel like we were gone so long that we needed to make, you know, a splash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think we made a splash? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. I think we did. Oh, thanks. That feels so good. <laughs> I think it was Benny that told me to do this. Oh, it's so nice. You can stop. I'll just keep doing it forever. <laughs> I can just keep doing this all night. That's great. Is thanks, somebody, Nikki. Somebody's going to swear that you're being mistreated. <laughs> okay. Now, do you want to go into the, the content? Oh, yeah. We could do, we could show like an item and then do a card. Yeah. Like we can do every that. other. Yeah. So we'll mix up the content with the game. Okay. How's let's, that? Yeah, let's do it. Thanks, Corey. Corey said, love this sale. Thanks. I, I, we tried to pull out some of our favorites for tonight as like a, we're back. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Yay. Okay. Now you want to do a, what are those? 
What's what is your game? This is uh, sent to us by a viewer in Emancipation Three Hundred. She might Hi, be Susan. She might be here tonight. Emancipation Three Hundred. Is her name, I think. But these we've done a few of these. Fifty questions for insane conversations. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's do it. So those are fun. Okay. So let's do. We'll, this is not all we'll do. We'll just do a couple of these. Okay, how about that? Does anybody know if Danny got her air conditioner working? Who? Danny, the niche lady. Do you not know that she's been out of air conditioner all week? Oh, no. Yeah. I didn't know. How did I not know that? Are you friends with her on Facebook? No. That's why. Oh. <laughs> well, I just don't watch. I just don't. I'm not on Facebook enough. I yeah. need to get on Facebook more. Yeah, she's been out of air conditioning all week. and she's Oh, been, it's 120 degrees. I know. She's been really worried about her animals, and she's, like, been doing drastic measures to try to keep them cool. So, oh, yeah. The last I saw on... Um, the last I saw on her on her Facebook page was that they were supposed to be getting it fixed maybe today. Yeah. She had, she almost Not had it fixed. Me. They needed to get free on it, Ugh. Tiger said. Bless her heart. She didn't still have it during her sale today. I started to say she has a sale on Fridays. So. God, I feel, I feel guilty for saying I'm hot. I know. That made me think of her. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. Okay, let Wait a second. Mm. I've got a comment for Nikki. <laughs> Nikki is kick-ass pit crew, fueling up the hose and cooling their engines. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's fantastic. I deserve a bonus. <laughs> we'll double what you're making now. Thanks. How's that? <laughs> that's a great joke. <laughs> okay, let's see. What's let's let's ask one of these. I don't even know what they say. This is this is kind of risky. Risky? We can veto it if we don't like it. Okay. We don't let's want to do talk one. about it. Rudimentary Magician is the name of this card. Okay. I'm ready. So it's got kind of a long quit, uh, long little setup, and then it asks a question, and then we can all discuss it. Okay. Okay. Let us assume you met a rudimentary magician. Let us also assume that he can do five simple tricks. He can pull a rabbit out of his hat. He can make a coin disappear. He can turn the Ace of Spades into the Joker card, and he can do two other others in a similar vein. These are his only tricks, and he can't learn any more. He can only do these five tricks. However, it turns out that he's doing these five tricks with real magic. It's not an illusion. He can actually conjure the bunny out of the hat ether and he can move the coin through space he's legitimately magical but extremely limited in scope and influence okay <laughs> so what's the question so the question is would this person be more impressive than albert einstein oh a person who can do legitimate magic yet their tricks are kind of simple simple but they're real but they're legit is that person more impressive? Well, yeah. I don't know anybody who can do that. I mean, he'd have to be they'd have to be more impressive than Albert Einstein, right? I mean, yeah. they can actually conjure something up. Yeah. I think Albert Einstein would be impressed. Yeah. I think <laughs> they're all saying no. <laughs> he's so lame. <laughs> but he's conjuring a bunny out of nothing. Right? I think that's pretty legit. He's making a coin disappear. Like, where did it go? <laughs> like, it's gone. I mean, that's that's what you have to go with for, for this question. You have to assume that, I mean, that it's legit. I th <laughs> Meh. <laughs> I think that... Carrie said, what the heck is wrong with... <laughs> I think that Einstein would be impressed. I think so too. I think Albert is just sitting there like, wow. because Albert's gonna be like, "WTF? Yeah, what is happening? Yeah, <laughs> there are no laws to explain this. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I went to the bathroom and suddenly there's no laws to explain. <laughs> Nikki um, missed the question. Yeah. No theories. There is no theory or law that can explain that. Zeno has a good point. Can explain Einstein only theorized. The magician made it happen. So you go read that on your own time. Okay. Yeah, it was. it's long. 
So yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. I think Here, yes, but did Einstein pull a rabbit out of a hat from <laughs> fed air? <laughs> I think it's pretty impressive. Me too. Well, not to not to discount Einstein, but there are similar minds. <laughs> there are similar minds to Einstein in the world, right? Similar. I'm not saying anybody's better, but there are similar. But there's nobody that can do what that dude does, right? Well, yeah. I mean, Einstein can explain the universe, the laws of the universe that we know. Right. This That's person on. is outside of the laws of the universe. That's what you just said, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I There's no laws. That see mine above, <laughs> lavish mango. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie, you say the nobody best. would believe that it was real, so I would say no. <laughs> That's true. I mean, that's true. But <laughs> Carrie, you say the best thing. Carrie's <laughs> like, what the heck is wrong with all? Carrie's guys? like my top three favorite. People. Can you yell at Boo for a second? Just yell Boo. At me. Stop. <laughs> He just needs to get down. He's somewhere where he's not supposed he's to be. Yeah, I see that. Boud, get down, please. <laughs> Boudoir. Get Boudoir. Down. Get down. Will you get off that? Okay. You want to do one more and then we can show some stuff or we want to show Let's some show stuff? one thing and then we'll we'll keep going. Okay. Good night, Karen Fitzgerald. Okay, so we went to Georgia's sale. We, we went to Georgia's sale. Had that on a video. Yeah. But mom. Joy went Joy. first because we had to work. Joy went first because we were working and picked us up some stuff. Yes. Start so with the Amberina because it's got a little bit of damage. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to preface this by saying we're not selling this stuff right now. So if you're brand new, we're not selling anymore. We're just showing a haul. But that is not to say that you can't email us if you're interested. If you are interested in anything you see in any of our hauls, whether it be flipping and sipping or a regular weekly video, you can always email us and ask if it's still available. So this is a make an offer kind of item though, because it has some damage. Yeah. So this, if you're if you're into it, we could we could uh, sell this to you very um, affordably because it has quite a bit of damage actually. So let me look at the bottom. I actually don't see any damage on the bottom. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, this is beautiful. There's a couple bubbles in there that look like chips, kind of, if you look inside, but they're bubbles on in the inside of the glass. I, I think that the top, excuse me, I think that the bottom is perfect, is in, is in excellent condition, as far as I can see. And this is uh, Amberina, so that means that this part, the amber part, is going to have cadmium in it, and that is going to glow under a black light. Bottom is great. Now the top, <laughs> Carrie, Carrie's starting an offer up. Now the top, we've got chips all over the place here. So chips, chips. I mean, there's a huge chunk here. The thing about it is that I love about this red glass is you can't really, I mean, if you're going to enjoy it for yourself, it's not all that noticeable because it's red all the way through. But. True. And if you had it, you know, at a distance, I mean, nobody would ever know, but I mean, you could, I mean, you could use the bottom. It's scalloped, you know, when you look at this, it doesn't actually appear that it needs a lid because it's scalloped. So, I mean, you could use the bottom as is. But here's the top. It, the top's got a lot of chips. I'm not even going to count them all because there's a but, lot. So pretty. But yeah, that's gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. And it's big and it's heavy. So this is Moon and Star. Moon and Star, if you're interested in this, email us. We're not going to sell it. We're not going to sell it right now. But yeah, very nice. Yeah, Carrie put that in the thing for us. So yeah. Thanks, Joy. I know. Mom picked those up for us. It's so cute. Yeah, that's a good there's one. There's a couple other things. We're going to do another question in between them. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. Does it glow? Yeah. Oh. The cadmium, the the amber part. Yes, did, it does. Did you do it? Mm -hmm. It does. Oh. It, it won't pick up on the screen. My my um camera is too bright, so I I would never get that to show on this camera. But yes, I just I just looked at it and it does. Okay. Okay. So the next question, a life. Oops. A life in film. Okay, is the next question. 
You ready? I'm ready. Okay. You're welcome, Kitchy Corner. For whatever the reason, two unauthorized movies are made about your life. Unauthorized? Unauthorized. <laughs> That's going to be it. The first is an independently released documentary, okay. pri primarily comprised of interviews with people who know you and bootleg footage from your actual life. So you and Carrie made it. <laughs> and Jamie from Mid Century Waste. Yeah. It. One of these days, that's what's going to happen. They're gonna, yeah. Somebody's going to pull a bunch of clips. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Critics are describing the documentary as brutally honest and relentlessly fair. That sounds about right. That sounds terrible. <laughs> okay. That, that's the first one. Okay. Okay. Meanwhile, Columbia TriStar has produced a big budget biopic of your life. Oh, Lord. Casting major Hollywood stars as you and all of your acquaintances. Though the movie is based on actual events, screenwriters have taken some liberties with the facts. Critics are split on the artistic merits of this fictionalized account, but audiences love the movie. Okay. Okay. You can only choose one to see. Which film would you be more interested in seeing? The blockbuster. I don't want to see an amateur snuff film made by you and Carrie and Jamie. <laughs> That is brutally honest or whatever it is you said. <laughs> no, uh, uh, what did it say? Brutally honest and relentlessly fair. Yeah, that's a lot for me. <laughs> Curious is who's playing me in the movie. Uh, yeah, who would play you in the movie? Well, I would like to hope that it would be like Maggie Gyllenhaal, but <laughs> it would be... Let's see. Let's think. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, so yeah, I no. won't say. No. <laughs> They're all laughing because she's a snuff <laughs> Yeah, definitely oh, the blockbuster. Me too. Yeah, my luck. Me too. Who would I? I mean, I no, I would not want to see my a luck, documentary would, on my life. I would have somebody horrible playing me. Most definitely. <laughs> Karen Redford, I live this crap. I don't want to watch it. Oh, Karen. <laughs> ah. <laughs> They're all laughing because I can hear Nikki laughing over there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to see the... Film one is Mary Beth and film two is Ruth Ann. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we show something else? Yes. Show your little lady. Okay. Not a lady gown. You know, we don't have any lady gowns. Okay. Paula Dean, no, that's about right, Zeno. That's that's about right. Zeno. Bless. Okay. Again, from Georgia. What is, is that? Is this little lady head face? Look what at is her. she? What does she have in her hair? I think I should take that out. This is like this is. I think this is vintage as well. Oh wow! Yeah, it looks pretty vintage. Yeah, that probably needs to stay. Well, let me show, I'll show you guys the top of her first. What's in there? <gasps> Is it a million dollars? No. Let's see. No, it's it's the original sticker, though. The original sticker is in there in, like, this little flower foam. Yeah. Well, but the, I think it's still marked on the bottom. Yeah, it is. But look, her little eyelashes are there. I think most, I mean, it happens a lot. I think maybe she had earrings that are not there anymore. But it still looks good. It's by Inarco. 1963. Mm-hmm. And even with, like, I looked them up on eBay. They're bringing, like, $45. Even the, even the one I saw on eBay had, like, one earring gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think she there's used like, to have earrings. That there's, like, divots. Dangled. Yeah, there's like divots there where her earrings used to be. I think it still looks nice though. It doesn't look like holes or anything. Yeah, I like it. Isn't it cute? Yeah. Frances McDormand? That's, yeah. That would be a good one. Yeah. I love Frances McDormand. I know. Everybody does. I think she would do good for you. Oh, yeah. Somebody said she's a pothead. <laughs> <laughs> she is a pothead. Mm -hmm. Melinda said, please clean the flowers. Oh, yeah, I know. Like, I haven't, I haven't cleaned any of it. Kathy Bates. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Kathy Bates is awesome. 
All right. Good yeah, job. So I think maybe, I think just so you guys know before you email, I kind of think her little fingers may have at one time been um, glued back on. Repaired. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you're right. I think you're right. It's hard for me to see with my glasses. But they did a good job. That's never going to focus. Oh, it's trying. Laura, how, how'd your face? There you go. So, yeah, her fingers have been repaired. But they did a good job. Yeah, they did. And she'd be really cute to mm -hmm. go with your other ones. Yep. She wouldn't be probably very expensive. So, Katie wants Helen Mirren. That's a good one, too. <laughs> Love it. Let's do one more thing. You want to? Yeah, sure. Okay. Let's save the blue one to last because it's the best. The big blue one? Yeah. The prettiest? Yeah, it's the prettiest one. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's pretty. Okay, so mom, uh, this came from my, my little... Ooh, like, that's pretty too. My little layman's shelf. Sherry might have gotten that. <laughs> the stopper is <laughs> improvised there. Y'all, MV is not 70. I know those people. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, God, that's, um, you know. Anyway. That's funny. Okay, so this is crackle glass, right? Yeah, it's so pretty. Look at that big crackle. Yeah. You know, a lot of times the crackle glass are the smaller pieces. That is some big crackle. <laughs> and it's Blinko, see, because it has the label right there. Blinko. Blinko, the focus. Zeno makes a good point. He's like, Carrie, yes, but this biopic will be after she's 70. Yeah. So the only thing that is wrong with this piece is that this is not the original stopper. Mm -hmm. You can just tell this. You can tell by the, the ground out part here. Not ground, but you can tell where the stopper had been. And this one doesn't go that far. And, and, plus, <laughs> it, and plus, it's just not as nice. So, it's not the original stopper, but this Blanco glass is really pretty. I really like that. I'm a, I'm a sucker for crackle glass. <laughs> Y'all forgot my name already. Laura Melendez. Nobody forgot your name. Laura Melendez. I hi. haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> She's saying hi to everybody. But it works. It does. It looks pretty in Isn't there. Isn't it cute? I think it's cute. Yeah. I think that, I mean, I think it looks really cute. Yeah. The size of it and everything goes really well with it. Yeah. Okay. Is this Meteor the next one? Yeah. Okay. I'll read this one. Okay. So this one is called The Meteor. Oh, it's long. <laughs> of course you picked the long one. You want a shorter one? No. Okay. Here we go. Whew. Let me get a deep breath. Earth is about to be struck by a mammoth meteor. Though no one knows exactly what will happen, most scientists assume that life on Earth will be totally altered and potentially eliminated. Everyone on the planet is freaking out. Suddenly, you receive a bizarre email. The government demands that you must fly to Washington, D.C. immediately by order of the president. The email message includes a first-class plane ticket. Once you, once you arrive at Dulles Airport, military police confiscate your cell phone and wordlessly transport you to a secret hangar that houses 10 massive space shuttles. You are escorted onto the ships. Not counting the crew. What is this reminding me of? Shh. Not counting the crew, there are 24 equally confused people waiting on board. You recognize a few of those people instantly. Bill Gates, the musician Prince, and yeah. Oprah Winfrey. Let's just pretend that he's not dead. When the individuals you don't recognize begin talking and interacting with one another, it becomes clear that all of them are brilliant scientists, <laughs> consequential artists, or extremely wealthy political figures. <laughs> the ship's captain informs all of the passengers that the space shuttle will be leaving Earth in two hours. He does not say where it's going, although he does insist that anyone who wants to remain on Earth is free to stay behind. So here's the question. You are 90% certain that you've been selected by this for this trip by mistake. 
<laughs> it's a mistake. Ninety percent. Just the, there's like two percent chance. <laughs> Do you remain on board? And if you do, how will you explain your presence to the other 24 passengers? You have no idea if admitting your true identity will disqualify you from traveling. Somebody said, I love the movie Mean Girls. Are we going? Would you go? Well, shoot. Yeah, I would go. So Earth is I about to be go. destroyed anyway. It's about to be struck by a mammoth meteor. So I think it I think it reminds me of that. You remember American Horror Story where they just like a few people got saved to the yeah. bunkers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's their fault I'm staying. Like Oh, you're staying here, you're not going. I think she's saying it's their fault I'm staying on the ship. Oh, staying on the ship. I think I'm going to stay on Earth. Carrie, hell no, I'm pushing Bill Gates down the stairs to get off the ship. Yeah, I think I'm going to raise my hand and be like, excuse me. I thought you're the one that always wants to go to space. Yeah, but I mean, that's like an end of world scenario. I just want to go to like the moon or like. You want to die on Earth? Yeah. You do. I would rather die on Earth with my family than go to space with a bunch of people I don't know. A bunch of hoity-toity <laughs> people See, that I don't know. See, no, I take my chances with the meteor over having to live my life with Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, the the list of people that that I have so far is not enough to make me want to stay. I think. <laughs> but it's life versus death. I mean, yeah. That's a no-brainer. No. There's things worse than death. Hanging out with Oprah is worse than death. I'm not saying that hanging out with Oprah is worse than death, but floating around in space with Oprah while I've just lost all my family and friends might be worse. Yeah. Bill Gates is an alien. <laughs> I bet Jeff Bezos would be there too. Yeah. Oh, definitely. God. <laughs> Let's see what else you have over there. Tiger says, I'll stay here if Carrie stays. At least I'll die laughing. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer, Tiger. Okay. This is not really your jam, Mary Beth, but it's very cute and pretty. Yeah, I'm not a big tea set fan. Yeah. But that's okay. It's a little fancy. To each his own, right? But it's very pretty. It is. So there's just a little teapot. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. And then there is the cream and sugar. Very lovely. Aren't they sweet? Yeah. And then you can show the mark. I can't. Is it left in? It's left in, but I don't know what else it says. Left in. Yeah, I can't read that. Left in China, hand painted. Something U.S. patent something. Yeah, it's left in. But it's so sweet and fancy. Look at those little purple violets. Yeah, it's all hand painted. This looks like it might be an eBay thing. Yeah, I just thought they would like to see it. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Thank you so much. There you go. Lovely. I but think that's nice. Show the mark up close. I'm not good at it. Well, yeah, it's you're really not good at it if you hold <laughs> it up there. The left and sticker has uh, there it is. Oh, come off good. there, but yeah, there's the mark. Yeah, y'all, that rocket. Jeff Bezos' <laughs> rocket. Yes. I mean, that was really something. You can't tell me that that wasn't done on purpose. <laughs> All right. You want to do one? You want to show one more? Like that little, the little steamboat? Let's show those two items on the end. Uh -huh. And then we'll do another card. And then we'll show the best thing. Okay. How's that? That's good. Totally intentional. I agree, Sherry. Right, here's the thing. Katie, that's really pretty. You're really pretty, Katie. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. This. All right, 
I'm back. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna set this down, but it doesn't. I'm I'm confused by the lid to this. It obviously goes with this, but it doesn't act like it wants to fit down in there. Oh yeah, it doesn't fit perfectly, does it? So I don't understand that because I mean it has to go with it. Look at it. it yeah, matches, I see what you're saying. It matches perfectly. I see what you're saying. Well, but, it's not vintage. But look how pretty that is. Yeah, that is pretty. Yeah, I think this is just a uh a uh yeah something you would get like at a gift shop or something and made it, in china it, it might be no maybe it's not flashed it might be flashed i don't think it is you don't think so mm -mm. but yeah the the lid is not a perfect seal there but that's pretty mm -hmm. it's a really pretty color it really is and then this says show up okay a little oh a little riverboat planter i love that and we get the riverboats here in paducah it's so exciting when they come down to the riverfront what does that say showboat showboat i love it katie says i want to have a tea party with all my fancy vintage glass i'll serve small sandwiches digestives <laughs> cheese scones and petty fours can we come i want to come to your tea party I've, I've all, for a long time, I've wanted to have a sale that was a tea party where we actually had tea, right? I even bought a book from Miss Pam about tea, like so that we could have trivia about tea and tea parties and yeah. having tea. I love this. And then we could sell teacups and little doilies. We'll do it. Wouldn't that be fun? Stop talking about it and do it. <laughs> I think that would be so much fun. I love this little showboat. <laughs> That's adorable. I love it. That one's really cute. Good job, Laura. Thanks. Okay, so let's do one more card, and then we'll show the best item that okay. we have. All right, let's do that. I love it. Good evening, everyone from British Columbia. Welcome. You are most welcome here. Showboat, wasn't that on Ava Gardner movie from 1950? I don't know. Laura, do you know? Um, no, I do not know. Showboat. I don't know, Vinny. I'm, so I'm sure you're right. I don't know. Napkins in the tea party sale. Yes. Mm, good idea. Nettie, we have tea parties. Yeah. I know, Katie. I said serve for you. <laughs> Yes, so I think we should have the tea party. I think that should go on the schedule somewhere, the tea party sale. Do it. Katie Vintage and Vinyl will do it with us. Yeah. Yes. And you, she will help us host. Right, yeah. Katie? We just invited you, Katie. Yes. We pretty much just said, Katie, this is what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry that we didn't really ask. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a tea party with Katie. You are very bossy today. You're supposed to wear a hat to a tea party. So Katie's going to be all set, but I don't have a hat. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Really? I don't know. You have to wear a hat? A hat seems proper to me and tea seems proper. We could all wear lady gowns. <laughs> you're bossy today. <laughs> Am I? You were telling Carrie, you're like, we'll tell Carrie when to say stop. And I'm like, well, maybe we should ask her. And then you're like, Kate, Katie, we're doing a tea party. Perfecting pearls would love to be part of a tea party sale. We could sell pearls. <gasps> yes. We could sell pearls because it's fancy. And, maybe I'll and dress that's what up. you wear to tea. Maybe I'll wear pearls and a nice hat and gloves and a blouse. A blouse? <laughs> what? Where, where are you gonna get a, a, a blouse? I, I might have a blouse. She actually has some blouses and a nice hat. I don't know about gloves. Though. Jamie, I'm back. My kids refuse to go to bed. Okay. Jamie, Jamie, we're talking about Nikki drew um, a clamshell and you missed it. That never happened, actually. <laughs> Laura is feisty tonight. I can do it right now if you want me to. Laura is really feisty <laughs> and. Oh, no, my mom just click on my mom's thing. I don't. I don't understand what she's asking me. 
I have Furby. Laura, I have Furby. I don't know what that means. Furby. Like with those Furbies from like, the 90s? Like a toy Furby? Yeah. Those things are creepy. Okay. I'm not sure, Mom. Okay. Don't wear gloves. <laughs> don't wear gloves? Okay. Yeah, you're right, Auntie Harry. Good idea. Laura's out of control. <laughs> Jamie said, why a clamshell? No, I'm going to put on pearls. <laughs> well, I was trying to think of something that was like a lobster, but it wasn't a lobster. It's not like a lobster at all. How about a crab? A crab is kind of lobsterish. I'll draw a crab. Right <gasps> Speaking now. of crabs, if you saw our Instagram story, we were snorkeling and we found tons of, of hermit crabs. The second day that we oh, went yeah. out, the second day that we went out there and did it, we found like a colony of them. Like I had a little net and I went down and dipped my net into the sand and when I brought it up, my whole net was full of them. I mean, we found one that was like that big in a shell. It was awesome. It was. It was like my favorite thing. It really was. They were everywhere. I've never. I've they were just all over the ocean floor. <laughs> just like millions of them. They were everywhere. I was like, where do they all come from? And one of them was really big. I was really excited. I went down and got it and I showed it to Laura and she was scared. You clicked <laughs> off of that. Mom was say, trying to say that she has derby hat. Derby. Not Furby. Got it. <laughs> got it. Okay. All right. I yeah, like, I like it when people think I'm out of control. That's yeah. pretty great, Jamie. It was like a call. They were they were everywhere. Yes, it was crazy. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks guys. They're trying to help me out with the Furby thing. Okay, Vampire Weekend. This is our last qu our other question here. Yeah, and then we're gonna end with our best find. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you want me to read it? No. It's the evening before your wedding. Everything is going as planned. You are spending the afternoon with a few old friends, chatting casually about old times. Suddenly, your spouse-to-be bursts into the room, totally hysterical. Your spouse-to-be insists that he or she has just seen a vampire. Okay. Okay. Maybe we should do a different part. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. I might not be able to <laughs> Inside joke. Okay. When you ask what this means, he or she says, I was looking out of the window of my hotel room <laughs> and I could I was looking out of the window of my hotel room and I could see into the apartment building across the street. That's when I saw the vampire. I saw a man in a black cape bite a woman's neck and drink her blood. I know this must sound crazy, but I'm certain that is what I, that what I saw is real. Your prospective and sober spouse is in a state of panic and pleads with you to believe his or her story. You can tell that this is really, really important to him or her. So what's the question? <laughs> okay. Knowing the fragility of the situation <laughs> and the intensity of the timing, do you tell your potential spouse that you do, in fact, completely believe that he or she saw a vampire across the street? All of your old friends are watching this conversation. Yes. Yes. I believe my potential spouse. Definitely. And my friends know me well enough to know that I'm crazy. And that, that probably wouldn't be that shocking. Well, and uh, you have a, an agreement with the potential spouse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so no funny. No matter how outlandish something may seem, if you swear to it, you're bound by love to, to believe them. <clears throat> yeah. So, yes, I would believe that. Jamie said non-refundable $30,000 wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would go along with it. <laughs> I believe that. I, no, I believe that you believe you saw it. That's mm -hmm. funny, Sherry. 
<laughs> I would say, nope, you're crazy. <laughs> Tell your fiance that you're team Jacob. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> Did he take shrooms before? Very fun. Yes. Okay. That was really we have fun. our last item. You guys are going to love this because I think it's awesome. I think this is like one of the coolest things ever. Don't drop it. Laura, don't drop it. Don't say that. So, yeah. I love this. Just so you guys know. Yep, this is the other item that came from George's. Look at how pretty. Mom got that at George's. Yeah. So I'm I mean, I'm gonna assume that this is in poly glass. Wouldn't you? It looks like it because right? of the lid. Mm hmm So this is opaque. Most of the in poly glass that we find is uh you can see through it, but this is uh opaque. You can see that it's like white. On the inside, so in case maybe in case. Thank you. This is just lovely. I know that's so pretty. I love that. Yeah, put it up there with your <laughs> with my vases. with your vases and see what that looks like. How's that look? That's pretty. It's hard to see, isn't it? Mm -hmm. On the video, I love it. It actually would be prettier once you get the lavender, <laughs> the lavender lighter color white up there. But so it's not a perfect um, make. You can tell that it's handmade. You can see that the pedestal is a little offset there on the bottom. Can you guys see that? Huh. So it's not it's, it's not like perfectly symmetrical, but that just goes to show that it's definitely handmade. I love it. Someone wanted to know how tall it was. I'm not sure. Let's see. I would guess 18 inches. Laura's going to get a tape measure. Oh, speaking of Vegas, I am going to Vegas with my family. I decided to do it. It's happening. Laura, unfortunately, is not going because she couldn't get off work. But I'm going with my family, and that's the week before Christmas, or like the 16th or something. It's like the 16th or so. Oops, I should turn that around where they can see. It is, oh, I was wrong. I was way off. It's like 15 inches, about 15 inches tall. 15 inches. So, yeah. Several things about this piece are not quote unquote perfect, like not symmetrical, like the lid. There's a little bit more glass on this side than this side. So it's not a perfect symmetry piece, but I just love it. Yeah. It's, so it's one of my favorite things that I've seen. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I can take Laura's place in Vegas. And Carrie says, Jamie, Back I will meet off, you out Jamie. there. <laughs> Back off, Jamie. This is not fat bird wasted. S yes. See, Laura's feisty today. <laughs> it's the tequila. It's the tequila. She warned us. She was like, mm, tequila makes me crazy. She was right. <laughs> I love this. Good job, Joy. I know. Good job, Mom. Joy, you did a fantastic job. I'm I'm here for it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Nancy, thank you for watching. Nancy was thanking us for making her laugh. Thanks, Nancy. So it's eleven. It's eleven o'clock. We've been on for two hours. It was so much fun. Should it doesn't we, feel like two hours. Should we do one more card? Why not? Why not? Let's do one more I, card. I laughed my way through that one. Laura, quit your job and go to Vegas. I know. Yes, Sue. I'm, you know, this is my daily, my, my daily uh, struggle. You're not keeping it. No, I don't think I'm keeping it. It's, it's not exactly my vibe. Not exactly. Oh. Although I love it. I really like it a lot. You want to do a naughty one since it's late? Sure. Yes, <laughs> of course. 
Oh, mom says, I think you need, think to, you keep need to keep it. Maybe I'll keep it for a while anyway. <laughs> I do that sometimes. I'll keep something for a while. I'll read that one. I was going to read. I was going to preview it first, but maybe we should. Let's just go for it. Okay. The Nude Acquaintance. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Think of a specific friend of yours. Not your best friend, but someone who is, a, is more than an acquaintance. Wait, excuse me. Someone who is A, more than an acquaintance, and B, physically attractive. Okay. So think of a friend, not your best friend, but someone who is A, more than an acquaintance, and B, physically attractive. One day, <laughs> while trolling the internet, you accidentally come across three nude photographs of this person reclined on a sofa bed. The pictures were clear, <laughs> and it's unclear if the photos were casually posed or taken without the subject's knowledge. Your friend looks comfortable, but he or she is never looking directly into the lens of the camera. The pictures are not labeled. And your friend's name is not listed anywhere on the site, but you're certain that this is the same person you know. What do you do with this information? And do you tell anyone? Jamie, yeah. Jamie says, everybody stop thinking about me like that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I would immediately tell that person. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. What would you say? Hey, guys, just saw nude pictures of you. You look really great. Well, I would just be like, hey, well, I just found these pictures. I just wanted to make sure you knew they were there. Really? Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> I would be like, I don't want to embarrass you or anything if you're into this, but I just want to make sure that you know that those are there. If you don't know, you need to know. Agreed. I would want somebody to tell me. <laughs> Do you ever worry that there are pictures of you out there that you don't know? Well, I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. My goodness. I would tell that person. Would you not? You would have to. I I don't know. It would be so awkward. Well, you have to tell it. Oh, Helen's like, keep it to myself. There you go. I'd ask them if they'd done any posing lately. What did Zeno say? What did he say? Sounds like a regular find in an estate sale. <laughs> when I moved into my house, there was all kinds of porn videos and stuff in the top of my closet. What? What? Yeah. When you, was that? You knew that. Oh, I did I? What house? This one I just moved into. Really? Mom said no, they would never know. <laughs> Sherry, please no one tell me about it. I would be mortified. The latest house that you moved into had porn videos in the closet? Yes. Were they homemade or were they? No. I think I had forgotten they, that. They weren't homemade. Now that you say that it's familiar, but I think I had forgotten about it. Did you watch them, Laura? No. <laughs> what did you do with them? Threw them away. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, I think I would have to. I think I would have to tell my friend, even if even if they were just kind of. Oh my gosh, Sue would screenshot them. That's really awkward. Who said that, Sue? <laughs> I would need proof. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys are so much fun. I'm glad that we are back. I've missed you guys. I know. We missed it. Yeah. Last week, we weren't on here at all. And the week before, we were just on for like 30 minutes or so just to say hey. I know. So we're back. It's great. It's hard to believe that we've already gone on vacation and that it's already over. I know. It went by really fast. Really fast. Southern Mermaid says, wait. Oh, Laura. <laughs> She's mocking Nikki, I think, because I could hear Nikki say that over there. Yeah. Nikki's over there going, oh, Laura. Thanks, Laura Moon Woman. <laughs> okay, so shall we say goodnight? I guess so. I guess it's about that time. It is about that time. So before we go, a couple of things. 
Number one, Katie Vintage and Vinyl is having an ice cream social tomorrow night, 7 Central, 8 Eastern. We're going to play Pictionary. I'm down for it. However. Yeah, I like it. Miss Pamela usually has a sale. She's out shopping, so Katie's going to fill that time slot with some fun uh, and Pictionary. I like ice cream. So that's awesome. Yeah, we'll have to get ice cream. Yeah. Can we get a blizzard? Yeah. And bring that over? We okay. do whatever you want. Okay. So we're going to do that. Yeah. And then someone. She has a special guest. <gasps> it's not me. It's not me. <laughs> awesome. Okay. And special guests. Okay. And then let's see. Um, number two, there are some gals having a sale right after this. Tonight? Yes. They've, they've started this late night sale and I think they start at 10. Oh. But they still, but they go for a while. Oh, wow. So if you guys look. Um, Who is it? Can somebody put that in the chat? Somebody's going to know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it's the Vintage Uprising Texas that sounds, lady. That sounds familiar now I that I think you say it's that. her and a couple of others. Mm. Can it, if anybody can put that in the chat, that would be great. Okay. Vintage After Dark. Yeah, something like that. Awesome. Yeah. And then, wait, it'll come up in my. It'll come up in my feed. I will be able to tell you really quick. And then what else? Um, oh, comment on the video. Afterwards. Yes. After the video post, you can come back and name it like a friend's episode. So you can call it the one with the blue thing or the... <laughs> The one the where thing. the one where Laura wouldn't tell her friend if there were nude pictures of them on the internet, or the one where or the ice tequila. maker, <laughs> the one where the ice maker was loud again, or something. So remember, friends, that if you were oh, here, it is. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Vintage after dark, fantastic four. Okay. You, you guys see it happening? Yeah. Vintage Uprising Texas. Yeah. Vintage After Dark. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Not the bot, not the second one, the top one. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Remember, if you were a winner tonight, we need you to send us your information so that we can get you your stuff. So we need your YouTube name and your real name. We need your mailing address and we need your PayPal email address so that we can get you properly invoiced. You can send all of that information to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. And again, we do invoices on Sunday evenings. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Thanks for participating in the sale. Thanks for all the new people. Thanks for having fun with us. Thanks for participating. The one with the fake clamshell. <laughs> the one where everyone pictured me nude. <laughs> oh, you guys are so funny. The one in which it took an hour to sell five. Items. It really did. Zeno. It really did. He's not wrong. We weren't selling at the beginning of the hour. It's true. It took oh, a long time. Now he hurt my feelings. Oh, he did not. <laughs> Oh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a like before you leave. Uh, come back and comment after the video posts. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. And make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.